Halo Reach campaign is a grunt. Can you do it or is it impossible? Now, before we start, check out my Twitter, man. Look what I post on there. It's silly. It's absolutely silly. I mean, where is this location on Counting Strike? Can you tell me? No, you can't. Or can you? If you can, maybe go comment on it. Mission one, grunt contingency. This is just a trailer. It's like a trailer. It's like, what's it like to play as a grunt? Here's what it's like, man. You're small. You're running around like a little penguin. Whoop, 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 whoop. And all the Spartans are like double your height. Now, I played this mission, the second mission, on normal, because I thought that would be fair. I was thinking, you know, I'm a grunt. We should put it on normal, because then it'll be equivalent to heroic, which is a, the, like, law gameplay for Halo. You know, it's how it's meant to be played. But normal just wasn't quite enough. So these first two missions is really me just waffling to keep you watching, so you can then watch the real gameplay begin. But as we see, we've got a combat evolved magnum. Boom, boom, boom. Destroying people with that. The zealots, too weak. Normal's too easily. It's too easy. And I breeze through this like I've got Master Chief plot armor. And this is Halo Reach. I'm not meant to have plot armor. Nice energy sword though, innit? <laughs> Look at the little sprint. Look at him go. Now we're on sword base. I think it was called grunt base or something. That armor's pretty nice. It's like a CE armor. Shout out to the modder. He's done a fantastic job and he will get his credit because it's deserved. He even did the first person model, redesigned the hood, and it's very nice. This is the first challenge of the game though. Hunters, even though it's on normal, these hunters are fully armored. I mean, look, the armor covers the whole thing. Like, how do you hit them? You can't. You just have to keep peppering. Bow, 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 until they go. Now, I'll make it look easy, but I had a lot of deaths on this bit. You're about to see one now. I'm about to get left hooked out of nowhere like I'm playing Skyrim or something. But yeah, we just breezed through this mission. There's no trouble. It's another trailer. It's like a second trailer. It's like the first trailer was a few months ago. And this one is like today to announce the launch of the game. It doesn't get exciting yet. I'm just waffling so you stay on the video. Like, you know what I mean? But nice and easy. We destroy all the banshees with Emil because Emil is the guy. You know, he's got a nice little knife. And I've got a nice little rocket launcher shooting it away. Peppering all the banshees. Get out of my skies. Now the game gets interesting because I changed to legendary and I changed my armor to gold to represent me being like the golden grunt. No, I am the one grunt that is on the UNSC side. I'm the golden grunt. <laughs> the gold doesn't even look good though, so will I keep it? Who knows? Find out in the next chapter. But we got the big giants running at me and these guys are menacing. Yeah, I got betrayed. I got betrayed by my own teammate. June is meant to be my teammate and meant to be... The best sniper ever. But it turns out he just griefed me, bro. He joined my Minecraft world that I'm paying for monthly and griefed me. That is disgusting. Two more hunters to deal with. I don't know how I killed the first one. So I just showed it as if I breezed through. Truthfully, I didn't. Here's some of the failures. You'll notice the FOV looks different. It looks like we just zoomed in with the P9000. I changed the FOV to make shooting a bit easier. You know, the enemies look closer. It's like playing stretched on Counter-Strike, you get me? That mission was easy, even on Legendary. But the game does start to amp up. Now, spare of the tip. This mission, it's a cruise. You know, I've played it a million times. I know all the ins and outs, all the tips and tricks from the tutorial videos back in the day. This is just a showcase of skill and memory. And there's a little narcissistic moment. You can see what the grunt looks like. This is creative. Check this. I had to use the revenant to get up here so I could break the turret. How creative is that? Yes. I'm creative genius. I know. Thank you. Like, I'm doing this so flawlessly. You don't even think it's on legendary. You probably think it's easy. But you'll see that it really is on legendary. It'll be showcased shortly. It's just these two missions are like the easiest in the game. So it doesn't do me any favors in showcasing how flawless my ability is on Halo to the reach because we got vehicles power weapons you just breeze through you literally just breeze through you take your time and yeah pepper away couple hunters there but they're no match for this gun i can't even remember what it's called the plasma cannon i think i can't remember but it's overpowered
on MCC, I have actually died quite a few times on the Falcon bit. So I think they upped the difficulty. Apparently it's to do with the tick rate, but I am no nerd. I am a super nerd. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think it's to do with the tick rate being double, so the enemies are like double aggressive. Maybe they're just racist, you know? Got some sword and jetpack action. Had to showcase the sword in the hand of a grunt. Now, this is where the game gets difficult. Like, uh, the, the, this mission is really difficult. As we can see, I got a little orb, right? And this orb gives you a bunch of special weapons, which are really cool. I don't make use of them till later on in the game, really. They do come handy, though. And they come handy towards the end of the game, I will not lie. But yeah, Long Night of Solace is probably the hardest mission in the game just because of the length. Like, you just have to methodically beat it section by section. And this saber section is easy. I I've seen people say it's hard, but they're just not pilots. What can I say? They're not born and bred to be pilots. It's just a skill diff, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, but it's serious. No, the enemies are like double aggressive on Master Chief Collection compared to the Xbox to the 360. So it is definitely a lot harder. But yeah, we just grabbed the rockets as you saw earlier on. Used them to take out some elites. And now we just showcase Aim Lab slash Kovacs aim. I've played every single Halo and beat every single Halo, except for the fake Halos, like Halo 5. I did have to beat Halo 4, though, for the achievement. But anyways, I beat them all on Lasso. And sections like this, on this mission, I just remember them, like, off the back of my hand. I just remember where the enemies are and where the weapons are, so I can just beat it. But I will not lie, as a grunt... It's hard, man. Got slower movement speed, less health. I think the shields are the same as a Spartan, but I'm not sure. Which was incredible. Now, the next memorable bit, look how perfect this is. I got the absolute best RNG you can have for this section. Every single enemy facing away from me, and I could just backsmack them. I don't think I've ever had this RNG before. I actually don't. I think maybe like once or twice, okay? This was incredibly lucky. Absolute best spawns ever. And then that guy, I didn't even know. I didn't see him. I got lucky that he didn't just right hook me and one shot me into oblivion and I have to go to last checkpoint. Now, because we got the needle rifle, this mission's not that bad. Like, as long as you've got ammo for it, the needle rifle is incredibly powerful. The needle rifle's so good. The squishies, right? Jackals and grunts, normal grunts, okay? Not the deceptive grunts that are actually elites. They get like three shotted. You don't even have to headshot them. You just boom, boom, boom. Pew. This mission just wasn't that bad after I got on the ship, especially because I've played it so many times. So yeah, the moral of this mission was Patience, a little bit of luck, and a little bit of Jessica. Ha <laughs> ha! Now the start of Exodus is chaos. I can't tell you how many times I just... From a stupid little grunt. But it's the first introduction to Brutes. And Halo Reach really brought back Brutes, okay? Because Halo 3, the Brutes were just a placeholder for Elites, right? But in Halo Reach, they made them Brutes. They made them their own thing, which was cool. And Halo Infinite obviously continued that. Halo Infinite was like, Reach had good brutes, let's do that, or better. Shout out Halo Infinite. But yeah, we did a little jetpack skip, because I thought, you know, a lot of enemies in this section, not a lot of ammo. Let me just methodically get to the next section. And this is where I ran into a problem that I wasn't expecting. And this really showcases how weak I am as a grunt, okay? So far, the game's not been that hard, even though it's on Legendary. But even doing a skip, a skip, I get D underscore destroyed a million times, which you're about to see a million times, okay? I had to get really creative, really careful, and aggressive all at once just to get past this section even with a skip it's ridiculous
as you saw, I'm a grunt, man. <laughs> I was getting destroyed. I had to focus in, right? I just keep trying. I had to just keep trying. And I had the method down, but I just had to keep avoiding grenades, trying to shoot the brute before he shoots me, and trying to shield up before I get ran up on the back. It was, it was amazingly difficult, but amazingly satisfying. And the rest of the mission... A little breeze. I was scared on the Banshee section now that I was going to get destroyed. But we find, we move, and we end the mission with Grace. Now, never, so now we got New Alexandria, my favourite mission. We are doing the Synovia Centre first. I think that's what it's called. This is the scary pit of this mission. It's like a horror bit. It's a horror scene, okay? I did it as you normally do, you know, you press the button, you run away just like this. But it turns out when you're a grunt, you kind of get smoked. I decided, let's give active camo a try. Even though it's terrible on Halo Reach, I thought this has got to be the only way. So I'm methodically going through. They spot me. I stay calm though. Big deep breaths. Grab the sprint. And let's run. I'm going to make this, guys. No, I'm not. This section took me way over half an hour. I tried killing all the enemies, but they're infinitely spawning. I tried running through crouching through everything but it turned out all i had to do grab active camo walk grab the sprint run and it was that simple now i'm doing the easter egg my favorite easter egg in the whole entire game if you don't know what it is by now you should, because I just pressed that button for a very good reason. Boom! It's tradition for me to grab this pelican or the phantom. Depends how I'm feeling. But I can't hijack as a grunt the banshees. I, I, I did try, but I don't think it lets me. Three four three did ruin the pelican though. I can't aim upwards like you used to be able to fly upwards and you can't. You have to like ascend slowly. They ruined the axes on it. I know how to fix it with mods, but I just didn't bother. Now the package. Not my favorite mission. Not much going on. You sort of just hold out and kill all the enemies. Nothing interesting. Just long. Just really long. So I made it look fast. Now, the Pillar of Autumn. I tried this little speedrun thing, okay? Because I wanted to see if it worked as a grunt. I literally saved the concussion rifle just to try that. And it turns out it doesn't work. So I had to do it the long way and just kill all the enemies, which wasn't really that hard. And even though this mission at the end is similar to the package, I enjoy it a lot more. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the scenery, you know? I can just stare at the big Pillar of the Autumn and just... Look how beautiful it is. Or maybe it's because Emil is by my side. But Emil was by my side last mission. Hmm. Interesting. We got one of them orbs. This is very useful. It made this mission way more doable. Played around with a baseball bat. Kind of cool. But anyways, we've got this quad sniper. Which comes in very handy. Okay, look at the power of this thing. And it, it's a, from another Halo mod, but I haven't actually played that Halo mod yet. Here's a little uh, thing for any achievement hunters. A little data pad, by the way. More hunters. They're so strong on this mod. Incredible. Incredibly strong. Here's a little friend. Friendly little jackal. Ooh -hoo. This is the hardest bit of the mission, is these sections. You are just bombarded with enemy after enemy after enemy with little ammo. And here we got a little Xbox. It's a Series X and it's fantastic because on MCC, the DMR crate gets glitched out of the map and you can't grab DMRs. So this mission is like so difficult, even as a Spartan. Never mind a grunt.
My heart skipped a beat. All of that, and I thought I was going to have to do it all over again. But I got a checkpoint. I just didn't notice. And now we're on to the next section. We got the pelican. The last final bit of this mission. A lot of zealots, and like we say, I can't just stand off and fight them, because this is what happens. I die repeatedly, over and over and over again. I have to methodically chip away at their shield and then headshot them, or can just use a grenade launcher. want to spend <clears throat> what the heck <clears throat> now i'm going to talk about the campaign as a whole now as you just watch me finish the last official mission the reach campaign is a grunt although it looks easy on legendary because i cut out all the fat man this was hard bro it was actually really hard really difficult i these missions took me like two hours per mission even the easy ones took me like an hour and a half it was difficult but it was fun it was really fun check out the mud now let's play lone wolf or lone grunt as we should call it really <laughs> he perished. <laughs> Do you know, that wasn't planned. It seems fake. What? That was an accident. I didn't know that was going to happen, and I thought it was a perfect ending. Check the mod in the description. Check my Twitter in the description. And goodbye.